Per qualche motivo è crashato, ragazzi. Comunque, cioè, non so, non so dove siete arrivati. Comunque, cioè, sto camminando, non so cosa devo fare. No, no, abbiamo visto fino all'inizio dei titoli di coda, tranquillo. Ok, stanno solo passando tutti i nomi degli attori. Sì, sì. Non posso sparare? No, non è come dall'altra parte che mi riporta alla spiaggia. Voglio, pre voglio prendere la pistola, sarà che mi aspetta fino alla fine. Se vado verso di là, di aspetta. Là dove ho visto Bridget con dei Hardman e gli altri. Credo che le persone blu sono quelle che raggiungono la spiaggia in via naturale, diciamo. Sì, da morti. Sì, sì. Infatti quando Hartman tornava alla spiaggia vedeva tutta la gente blu. Lui era l'unico sì, colorato, poi, diciamo. E quando è tornato in vita è tornato a colori. Quindi stiamo, siamo lì lì per morire, insomma, può essere... Ecco. Quiet and I'll tell you. There is no time for questions. When you were young, you used to have bad dreams. You cried about them all the time. The truth is, those weren't your dreams. They were mine. For as long as I can remember, I've dreamt of the beach. Not just while sleeping, in my waking hours, too. In my dreams, I watched the world end so many times. Countless past extinctions that decimated life on this planet. Again and again and again. At first, I didn't understand what I was seeing or why. And that wasn't the worst of it. There were other, more terrible dreams. Dreams of death and destruction. Of a massive extinction to come. Like this one. And I would always be the one to end it all. To bring about the last stranding. As I have today. Ma... Continuiamo le volte Una Due Due Grande io di Shinkawa Vai verso il verde Ma tanto è il Non posso cambiare niente Quindi sono sicuro che non cambia niente Probabilmente ci sono dei punti in cui si siede E sentiamo parte della spiegazione No no a caso si siede secondo me Quando tipo passano un po' di crediti Ci sediamo nel punto in cui siamo Ah ok Quindi Emily praticamente ha fatto partire la stranding però grazie a noi si è ricreduta. Io credo che lei non abbia. cioè lei non ha mai voluto, lei è letteralmente la morte che non vuole uccidere. È costretta, sì. Sì, sì, dal suo, dal suo stesso essere. La first operation. I was only 20. Hmm. I opened my eyes and found myself on the beach. But the moment I came round, I was back in the hospital bed. I was split across two worlds. Bridget, my ha, and that one. Amelie, my car in this. Somehow, the two of 
us manage to coexist. Soon, our ages began to diverge. Uncle Bridget's body got older, while the beach kept Amelie's the same. Mi siete letteralmente divisi in due. Esatto. I told people that Amelie was my daughter. A daughter with a debilitating condition and an absent father. Look. Amelie. Am is French for soul. Lie. Bugie. A soul that's a lie. There was no Amelie. Non voglio dire che sono intelligente come così, ma ma. I thought it was a curse in the beginning, but later I started thinking, maybe I can use this. I tried to find out more about the beach, because understanding the beach had to be the key to interpreting my visions of the future. Sono tra i titoli di quadro più belli mai sentiti, Rosy. Cioè, più, più vi vissuti più che altro. I più titoli, i migliori. Questo è veramente il miglior modo per, per farti. Cioè, per ringraziare. Come, come quelli, quelli di God of War, per chi l'ha giocato. Che quando scendi dalla montagna ti passano i crediti. Che l'obiettivo di inizio gioco. Perché siamo comunque. dobbiamo rimanere attenti. Sì, sì, in quel senso. È un po' così anche con, un, con God of War comunque, con anche quello molto tipo, cinematico. Con Undertale è stato furbo. Sto ancora pensando, alla fine mi deve mettere Death Stranding. Quando torniamo a sto punto? Ma ah, dici che non c'è la schermata nera con i titoli che scorrono, si fermano questi? Forse si sì, li rifà dopo alla fine, quello come i film. Oh. Vediamo. Gabriel e Dooms alla fine penso non le spieghino, semplicemente sono dei poteri che ha dato Emily. Vediamo se lo rispiegano dopo, ma alla fine penso sia solo quello. Non è una... un acronimo per qualcosa. Ma quindi a quanto pare... Non è come ci ha. Vediamo, vediamo. Io non so te, non vedo l'ora che esco su PC per vedere le mod, per vedere cosa c'è oltre la spiaggia qui, per vedere cosa c'è in diversi punti che non si può andare. Sì, sì, sì. I realized the beach was connected to the world of the dead, which meant that somewhere out beyond it were the memories of time itself including those of every organism that had ever lived. 4.6 billion years of biological history, a history that might even stretch back to the creation of the universe. The chiral network and everything that followed was born from my pursuit of that knowledge. By passing data through the beach, we were unbound by the restrictions of time. Simulations that would have taken years or more were simple and effortless. Everything that the Earth had lost and forgotten could be reconstructed and reclaimed. But shortly after we began our research, America saw its first void out. I thought I was running out of time, that my nightmares were becoming a reality. So I raced to complete the chiral network as quickly as possible. The past held all the answers. If only I could find a way to piece them together. A network that bridged our world and the beach. That might do it, I believed. So, I started researching bridge babies. Children bound to the world of the dead. What causes an extinction entity to come into being? What was the reason for the previous five mass extinctions? The answers to those questions would tell me how to stop the sixth. I found it, Bridges. More determined than ever 
to build a chiral network that would cover all Quindi questo è il metodo comunque provato. But the longer I fought my war against the inevitable, the weaker I became. My heart had cancer. The beach's punishment, maybe, for not playing along like a good little E. And then, just like that, my heart was gone. I couldn't finish what I'd started. So, I asked you to do it for me. And you did. You helped us complete the network. Helped us to reclaim everything the universe experienced from its inception to this moment. Every mystery was ours to solve. Like this one. Once, there was an explosion. A big bang that gave birth to time and space. Thing is, it was more like a big fluke. All that matter and antimatter should have cancelled itself out, leaving nothing. But somehow, somehow a tiny speck of matter survived. Just enough. Enough to make this world and everything in it. A world that shouldn't be, a world out of balance. Order inevitably gives way to chaos. Everything that lives must inevitably die. It's like the universe is trying to return us to the nothing we came from. Maybe the Big Five were its best attempts to finish us off. But somehow, life always managed to survive just enough. Enough to thumb its nose at the will of the cosmos. You know? I'm starting to think that extinction might be the key to overcoming total annihilation. It forces life to fight to survive, to endure, to exist. That's why the Big Five ultimately rekindled life instead of extinguishing it. From the ashes of the dead rise the living. Stronger and wiser. Inheritors of the legacy of existence itself. They defy the universe and refuse to surrender. They say, we're just getting started. Extinction is an opportunity. Rekindle the light. Non pensavo sia per questo che mi sei a... Perché se devi soccombere è meglio soccombere e lasciare che qualcosa si sta... Esatto. Invece tu avresti combattuto fino alla fine pur sapendo di... Sì, esatto. Ho capito. Ma io... Mi considero più parte di un gruppo, evidentemente. E quindi alla fine non c'è la scelta, alla fine. No, no, a quanto pare no, ma sto pensando se ci fosse stata, cioè a quanto pare io mi considero più in eredità e tu ti consideri sì, più sì, un capito. individuo. Sì, sì. Eh Gabriel alla fine se ci pensi il ragionamento è quello Comunque tutti quanti sarebbero morti O all'istante in modo indolore Diciamo Oppure soffrendo col passare del tempo Io Però cioè, preferiva far sta... esplodere tutto quanto subito Da come sta dicendo lei In ogni caso la vita ce l'ha sempre in qualche modo fatta Io avrei lasciato esplodere sì. tutto E sperare che qualcosa sopravvivesse Come impulso Perché cioè, trascinarsi per me è molto peggio che morire. La vita deve essere libera, secondo me. I pulled the trigger twice that day. I knew at once I'd made a mistake. I found your beach and looked everywhere for you. Sam. There you are.
La cicatrice Me l'ha fatta Perché? Mi sa che ho ragione Rozzi Di che guarda cosa? Con Cliff Ma no È un bambino solo no? I wanted I wanted to set you free From death once and for all It's okay I know the way But in doing so, I upset the fundamental balance between life and death. I just wanted to save you. Ah, ci ha resi dei demersi con la cittadina, è stata lei sì. come con Cliff allora, cioè avrà preso bambini a caso. Sì. It's my fate to lead our species to extinction. But that moment, you became part of that fate. You became a repatriate. And dooms started spreading my nightmares to others throughout the world. Siamo noi l'inizio di tutto. It was me that got you and everyone with dooms into this. Not long after. A death stranding occurred. Siamo noi la causa. The dead clung to our world, and BTs used my beach to cross over and devour them, triggering more void outs. A catalyst that would set the world on a path to extinction. It was my duty to serve as a sacrifice, to wait and watch it unfold from this beach. That or hasten the last stranding and end this slow death. Given these my only options, I chose to end it quickly. But to trigger the last stranding, I needed you, a part of me. Here too. I would be able to witness extinction consummated with you by my side. But now that you're here, there's another choice. You can cut me off. An EE doesn't have that option for itself, but in my nightmares, I saw another future, one that you chose. One where extinction is hope against total annihilation. Quindi The Stranding è venuto alla nostra nascita praticamente. Sì, lei ha squilibrato l'universo ed è per questo che... Rozzi. Sì. Oh. Ecco la canzone che mancava. Quindi sì, lei praticamente si è ritrovata ad essere l'entità istintiva e non riuscendo ad accettarlo ha squilibrato le regole dell'universo creando sì. prima i riemersi, un riemerso, poi le dooms e sì. poi... E Quindi praticamente fatto ha fatto partire sì. i Last Stranding con, con l'errore di salvare noi. Sì, e, e probabilmente... Sì, sì esatto. E non è The Stranding non... questa comunque, sono sempre Ma loro. Non Scusa, mi sa che ha laggato prima, a chi è che ha sparato? Lei che ha detto di un grido? Non ha detto, ha sparato due colpi, ha detto. Ah. Però so che ci penso non può essere Cliff perché ha sparato sì. dai Hardman. Sì, sì, probabilmente qualcuno si sarà opposto a lei ed era nostra madre, il nostro padre. Adesso lo scopriremo. Cioè in realtà alla fine la trama era molto semplice, letteralmente la morte che non vuole più fare la morte. Il cacciatore nel gioco è Hideo Kojima stesso. Cosa? Nei crediti qua di, di giocatori, dei personaggi, c'è Hunter, Hideo Kojima. Ah.
Madonna, questa è la musica del primissimo trailer. Sì, è il keep coming questo. L'ho anche comprata su Google Play a 1,20€. Non so se è già il tempo di farti le domande con No, no, no. Però no, aspettiamo un po' di Fino alla fine, non è finito. Penso non ho capito tante cose in questo momento, cioè a parte tutta la cosa del Death Stranding, i suoi motivi. In tutta la storia del vestito che ci tormentava dall'inizio, avevamo anche ragione abbastanza. Era sempre sì, sì. lei, però quella vera, insomma. Quella prima dello, dello split in due dei vent'anni. Sì, sì, è che finché non ci hanno confermato con mamma che un napo Che c'era questa esistenza, e eh, la possibilità di dividersi. Sì, 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 adesso... Cioè, in realtà ce non era così complicato. Ce Quello della cicatrice così. abbiamo visto adesso mentre ce la faceva. Però c'era anche Cliff sì, quella cicatrice. E boh, forse lui se l'ha autoprocurata risalendo da lei. Oppure. Ma noi sappiamo che Cliff era un suo sottoposto, no? Quindi l'avrà fatta lei e per fare Sì. Devi spiegarci Cliff, che la roba non ho ancora detto. Sì, è comunque triste. O la tagliamo fuori e guadagniamo un po' di tempo, ma si dirà del poco. Era tempo mantenuto, un po' di attività. adesso con la canzone sotto ah ok aspetta no, aspetta che adesso comunque si mettono a parlare sicuramente ci sta guardando dietro Devo andare? Sì. Eccolo lì. A gun won't help you here. But it still has a role to play. No, no, no. No. No, no, no. Quadrato. Ricollegati con i vivi. Eh, lo sapevo. 
Lo sapevo. Listen, Sam. I was the one that brought you and Cliff together again. There was something I wanted you to know. You were never abandoned. And you're not alone. Don't you see, Sam? You have to live. Perché salvataggio? Oddio! Stanno trovando non voglio farmi prendere perché voglio vedere cosa succede dopo Tanto infatti. Ti stanno vedendo ripigliare dalla spiaggia. Sicuro eh, ragazzi è lui, sicuro Quella connessione ristabilita quando abbiamo ripreso secondo me Sì sono tutti loro Sono loro ah, cinque Caccia Preso Il mio sì, comunque sono tutti e cinque, non solo lui. Sì, sono tutti e cinque, ok, ma è grazie a lui che ci hanno trovato, secondo me. Ricordati che fa già se una persona che sia connessa a noi. <ride> Avevo ragione. Noi siamo qui <ride> Ok Tempo di rimergere ragazzi
Il last trending è stato scongiurato. S. Per ora. Grazie Sam. Ologrammi. Ordine number 69. Nice. Le mouse. Eh. Questo è il nostro capitolo alla fine. Per me comunque non è finita finché quella canzone io non la sento, Rozzi. Ma guarda che manca ancora un capitolo, eh. Riprendi gioco. For too long have we lived as strangers to one another. Divided by walls built to keep us safe. But now with the completion of the Cairo network, we may at last move forward as a people united. Today we come together to celebrate the birth of a new nation. A new nation for a new world. The United Cities of America. I once took an oath to support and defend the Constitution of the United States. And though that proud republic may be no more, we remain. And so, as your Victor. president, I hereby swear to support and defend you, the people. Let there be no more walls between us, nor masks to hide who we are. Let there be a new America. An America where we can face one another. Where we can speak our minds and open our hearts. The old ways die hard. But I believe, my fellow Americans, that we have the strength and the courage to rise above our past and embrace our future. The Death Stranding is a part of that past. An enduring shadow. A constant reminder of what could have been. That we stand here today is testament Not to the greatness of any one individual, but to Ota. our capacity to come together. To the bonds between us. To our collective greatness. All things must come to an end. Ourselves included. But as long as we savor each moment, find joy in the promise of tomorrow, embrace hope and reject despair, we will endure. President Bridget Strand and her daughter, Samantha America Strand, sacrificed everything in their pursuit of hope that we, the people, might be whole again. That they are not here today to see the fruits of their labor fills us all with a profound sadness. But we find comfort in the knowledge that their memories will live on in the Cairo network and in our hearts. We will always remain connected. There is another hero in this story. One whose achievements seem destined to go unrecognized. America still needs that hero. That person without whom we would not be here. Now, the name is unimportant. But you know who I mean. And for that unsung hero, I have a message. It was you who brought us together. You who made us whole again. And while you and I will eventually pass on, Going somewhere, Sam? 
Tired of being the unsung hero? No, I'm done is all. She's gone. Come on, wait. There's something I need to tell you. Huh. This doesn't bother you anymore? <laughs> well, that's great. <laughs> now, wouldn't you like to know how we brought you back from the beach? We were going to use the doll, but didn't have one handy, which is when I remembered something else. Not what I think it is. Yes. What could be more connected to Amelie's beach than President Strand's umbilical cord? Hartman thought that's why she left it with me in the first place. Unfortunately... It didn't work. Yeah, she'd already cut her beach loose. Huh. It was just... gone. We didn't know if that meant she dragged you into the great beyond, or sent you to some other beach. We were really racking our brains. Hartman and Mama split up and started searching every beach you might feasibly have washed up on. We looked for a month with absolutely nothing to show for it. A month on the outside? How long on the inside? Trust me when I tell you, you don't want to know. But don't worry. We found no signs of accelerated aging. Okay. In the end, this is what led us to you. Just when we were about to give up, Die Hardman reminded us about the revolver. So, we tried to follow it, and it led us Almost to a far same. corner of your own beach. And bingo, there you were. Mama made visual contact first. She was able to see you from her vantage point on the other side. She informed Lachna via their connection, and Hartman confirmed your location during his subsequent NDE. The plan was for Fragile to, in essence, slingshot Lou and me to your position, so we could rescue you. But it's not so this. easy to send multiple individuals to another person's beach for an extended period of time. And that's where the umbilical cord came in. We wove these from President Strand's DNA. They serve as a single knot that binds us all. The president must have known all of this would happen. Ironic, isn't it? The gun that set this whole mess in motion ends up being the key to saving you. Hmm. Amelie, she said it had another purpose. Not a weapon, but a lifeline. A stick that became a rope. <laughs> I suppose that's one way of putting it. Sam, you have no idea how long I've been waiting to give you a hug. Got something else to tell you. Top secret. It's about Cliff. Bibi's mother's name was Lisa Bridges. Cliff's common law wife. Lisa Bridges? Uh, uh, now, Cliff was killed by a man identified in the records only as John. Former U.S. Special Forces. Quite good at it, by all accounts. Later appointed as an aide to the president, who used him for most of her wet work. The records go on to state that he vanished after Cliff's death. A warrant was put out, but he was later found dead. Turns out some people die harder than others, though. <laughs> Dear John donned a mask and reappeared with a new identity. But you can't fool the chiral network. We restored the old records, and Mama hid them deep in the archives. You're the only one besides us with access privileges. Take a look if you're so inclined. Certo. But don't say I didn't warn you. The president's got some dirty, dirty laundry. I don't trust him, but I'll work with him if that's what it takes. We'll talk later. Sam. I don't expect you to forgive me. But would you hear me out? I killed 
Captain Clifford Bunger. Hmm. I would tell you I did it for America. For love of country. But I didn't. I did it for her. Because I loved her with all my heart. She was everything to me. Everything. Now, I'm not trying to make excuses. I just want you to know that not a day's gone by when I haven't thought about it. Time didn't help. Or the mask. Please, let me finish. He... The captain saved my life. You know why they call me Die Hardman. Because he wouldn't let me die. He brought my sorry ass back home every time. And I loved him. As much as I loved her. <laughs> and when he stared me down, that ghost, I knew he was here to kill me, to make it right. And why shouldn't he? <laughs> why didn't he? He couldn't save his, his kid, his baby. And that's what brought him back. I guess when he... He saw I was trying to do my part for America. He remembered who he was. And he forgave me. God! But I don't deserve it, God damn it! There is no atoning for what I've done. Dead God! No. <laughs> This is the next best thing. Maybe he brought me back from the beach for a reason. One last time. He wanted me to do this. To keep on being Die Hardman. No. He didn't. Nobody wants a president who acts like they're immortal. And if you're not scared of death, how can you value life? And life is pretty fucking fragile right now. And yeah, the old ways die hard. But that's what's gonna have to happen if we're gonna come together and build a better America. That gun won't help you here. That's her words, not mine. Thank you, Sam. Hey, 
Sam. Been waiting for you. Lou? Dead? Poor thing was never truly alive. Not in this world, at least. The decommissioning order finally came through. Can't risk necrosis. The body can't stay here. No. I thought you might want to take care of it. You could try taking Lou out of the pod just to see what happens. But that would be in direct contravention of an executive order. And there are laws about that kind of thing. Now that we're a nation. I just couldn't bring myself to do it. But if the alternative is defying the president, I can't do that either. Not me. All right. I'll go to the incinerator. No. Before you leave, I'd like to check something quickly. I just took your cufflinks offline. In that state, there'd be nothing to stop you from removing them. If you did, the UCA wouldn't know where you were or how to find you. You'd be invisible. When you use the incinerator, you'll be reconnected to the network automatically. I trust you'll remember what I said. Right. Absolutely. Don't think you'll be needing an umbrella. I decided to follow my father's dream after all. Don't worry, I won't get mixed up with any terrorists this time. UCA's got my back. We're the first private delivery company to get the official approval. Sounds like you're moving up in the world. Congratulations. Thanks. Wait, there's something I have to tell you. I didn't shoot Higgs. Couldn't pull the trigger. Cosa. So I let him choose. Death or eternal solitude on the beach. Well, fair enough. You never did like breaking things. That's right. I find and fix what's broken. And reconnect. I'm fragile. But not, not that, that fragile. fragile. <laughs> Wanna come work for me? Could use a man like you. The world's still broken. Same as before. What isn't? But we're still here. We're still chugging along. Not everyone. Not me. Come on. You put America back together, didn't you? Doesn't mean there's a place for me. I've got no ties to anyone or anything. I might as well be dead. I felt like that when we first met in the cave. 
I still do. Don't act like you're the same person. You've learned how to touch, to feel. You've connected with people. With us. Everything I touch, I lose. del BB Yo Dai Mau No, non posso neanche accedere al menu Mau finalmente torniamo a quell'inceneritore Sei contento? L'abbiamo fatto poche volte Comunque no. mancano ancora un sacco di risposte Non posso cullarlo ragazzi Ah aspetta pu non puoi aprire il menu vero? Dice no gli parla soltanto No dai Che abbiamo in caso potevamo leggere le interviste ma non puoi vero? No Cazzo allora devi solo andare No io non, non parlo fino alla fine se te lo dico Lasciò la strada purtroppo
good. Non voglio farle. Le nostre prime CA qui con il gruppetto che si formava qui e il nostro urlo fatto qui esattamente in questo punto Non so perché succede ragazzi Si vede ragazzi? Sì si vede Vuoi vedersi Vai vai mm. Si sì, refresciate in caso In avvicinamento alla destinazione Second, all this is over. I'm going to take you wherever you want to go. Holy shit. 
John, is that you? Captain, what are you doing here? My wife's checked in. They don't want a repeat of last year. The void out in Manhattan. La nostra voragine. I'm so sorry. I didn't know you were the husband. This isn't what we agreed on. You said you'd do everything in your power to save Bibi. We are. But we cannot release your son just yet. Believe me when I tell you it's for the best. This is a woman in a mask who's done nothing but lie to me. I have a duty to protect our country. Lies are an unfortunate necessity. <laughs> the President gave me the highest level access privileges. I've used them to manipulate the security system. We have five minutes before it resets, sir. Five minutes to talk. Off the record. Take BB and get out of this place. There's nothing I can do for your wife. I'm sorry. You were my commanding officer, but I swore an oath to the president to protect her and the country at all costs. Now, if she orders me to do something, I have to do it. I have to. But I served under you first. And your family doesn't deserve this. Any of this. Why are you helping me? If they catch you. Because you saved my life, sir. Again and again. When the brass sent us into the jaws of hell, it was you that brought us home. Back then, I thought I was invincible. I thought I was some kind of action hero. But I'm not the hero. You are, sir. You're the reason I'm still alive. And it's past time I paid that debt. They're moving your son to a new facility tomorrow. You'll never see him again. He'll serve as the foundation of a new communications network. A sacrifice for a nation that no longer exists. I wrote down everything you need to know. It was the only way to keep it off the system. Burn it when you're done. The rest is up to you, sir. This belongs to you, sir. Now, I can't terminate your wife's life support from inside her room. System won't allow it. So, this is the only other option.
An alarm is set to go off if she flatlines. Hmm. I've rigged the system to spoof her vitals. But you won't have long. Five minutes, Tops. Don't hesitate, sir. This is the only chance you'll get. Don't worry. I'll take care of him. I promise you. Promise you. Due colpi. Cosa è servito questa scena? Mi lasciava avanti, Rozzi. Dici? Per forza. <ride> 